problems that we're faced with is that in the United States, the municipalities, that's towns, cities, counties, and states, there are hundreds of those, including probably 40 or 50 states, they're fundamentally bankrupt. And the only way they can solve that problem, because they don't think that they can get money from the federal government, is that at the end of the fiscal year, which is, I think it's July 1, they're going to have to decide just how many people are going to have to lay off, whether they're going to have to cut back, because revenues are not increasing. And it's going to cause a real crisis just like the situation in Europe, we'll do it about the same time. Probably the crisis will occur in September, October, November. And then you're gonna have a dual crisis, one in Europe with their problems, they have six countries that are in problem. And then you have all of these hundreds and hundreds of cities, towns, states that are in, in just as much trouble. So we're talking trillions of dollars. The only reason that the United States has been able to continue going sideways, if you may, is because of the amount of money that is being injected into the economy, mostly by the Federal Reserve, which is not a government at all, a governmental organization. That money is going into the financial community. Very little is reaching the public. And last time they did this under Stimulus One they accomplished over a two-year period approximately a growth of three to three and a quarter percent of gdp this time they'll be lucky if they can do two to two and a quarter with the same amount of money in total which is 2.5 trillion dollars so that's what keeps the stock market up and that's what keeps the economy going but it's incurring monstrous debt